Hello! And welcome back to the channel. The topic for today will be how to name polyphasic sleep schedules. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically, this video is not going to explain how to schedule a polyphasic sleep schedule, but will rather be focused on explaining how you figure out the name of a schedule presented to you. Why do you need to know this? Well, discussions are brought along much nicer if everyone speaks the same language. So, the aim of this video will simply be to spread information about the current model used for naming schedules by the community. So, to begin this video, I first need to present each schedule group. And what do I mean by schedule group? See, each schedule is related to others, and those that are very similar belong in the same group. For example, the biphasic group. The schedules that belong in this group are segmented, siesta, and everyman1, or E1 for shorts. The schedules in this group follow a somewhat unique naming system, because they are named according to their sleep mechanics. What does that mean? Simply put, segmented is defined as two cores or sleep episodes of at least one sleep cycle in length during the night, while siesta is defined as having one core during the day and another during the night. Every man one is defined as having one core and one nap. Pretty simple. So, to get further along, the biphasic schedule group is again defined as having two sleep blocks. There are also other groups that we'll get to now. The Everyman group is defined as having one core sleep and a number of naps. And the dual core group has two cores and a number of naps. There's also the tri-core schedules with three cores and a number of naps. And then finally the nap-only schedules with no cores and a particular number of naps. The groups are abbreviated as follows. The Everyman group is shortened to E, the dual core group to DC, and the tri core group is shortened to TC. This abbreviation is then followed by a number which dictates how many naps the schedule has. For example, DC2 would consist of two cores and two naps, and TC1 would consist of three cores and one nap. Next, we have the nap-only schedules. They each have unique names. These schedules are, by the way, generally considered unsustainable for most people. Regardless, we have Uberman, which consists of 6 naps of 20 minutes each, Dimaction, with 4 naps of 30 minutes each, Tesla, with 4 naps of 20 minutes each, and Spamile, with a varying number of naps, but generally in the 8 to 9 range. There are also a few other schedules with unique names, Bimaction and Trimaction, that are based on the Dimaction schedule and make use of 30 minute naps. Bimaction consists of two cores and two 30 minute naps, and Trimaction consists of one core and three 30 minute naps. A schedule with three cores and no naps is called Triphasic. And finally we have the experimental schedule Seva Mile, which consists of one core and a varying number of naps. These names should be able to be a basis to explain most sleep schedules that people can have, but if some new schedules are attempted, they are called experimental until they have been adapted to by at least one person. Now, the standard everyman schedules are based on monophasic equivalent cycles, which basically means that the team of five is kept. What I mean by this is that, for example, on Everyman 1, the five monophasic cycles are turned into four in the core and one nap, keeping a total of five equivalent cycles. Everyman 2 would be a core with three cycles and two naps during the day, still keeping the equivalent of five monophasic cycles. It's a little different with other schedules, because Dual Core 1 allows for a higher amount of quality sleep than the Everyman cycles, only four equivalent monophasic cycles are needed for it. So dual core one is a core with two cycles, one core with one cycle and one nap, resulting in four equivalent monophasic cycles. However, this number jumps back up to five with dual core two and dual core three. So dual core one has one core with two cycles, one core with one cycle and two naps, though the length of the cycles is affected by the addition of an extra nap. The standard tricore schedules are named with each core having a single cycle. So triphasic is three cores of three cycles each. Tricore one is three cores of one cycle each and a nap, and so on. These are the main points for scheduling. But how would you, for example, name this schedule? 
If we count the number of cycles or number of 90 minute segments, we'll see that there are three of those and three naps on top of that. So in total five equivalent monophasic cycles. In order to handle these special schedules, there are certain naming modifications in place, visualized by a dash followed by the modification. These modifications are extended, which refers to a schedule having more equivalent monophasic cycles than the standard version. Shortened, which refers to the schedule having less equivalent monophasic cycles than the standard version. Flipped, the schedule has its core during the day and naps during the night. Uh, these schedules are common for people who work third shift jobs. Modified, there is something that has been fundamentally changed with the schedule. For example, having the cores of dual core one switch place. Recovery, or you are attempting to get as much sleep as possible with the schedule, but plan on changing to a shorter polyphasic schedule in the future. Recoveries are usually done either before attempting a polyphasic schedule or if you fail to adapt to one. So just to drive my point across, we'll go over a few examples together and I'll name them. This schedule has two cores, so it's a dual core schedule. It has two cycles in the first core and one in the second, as well as one nap. So four equivalent monophasic cycles, which was a special case if you remember and is called dual core one. This schedule has one core, so it's an everyman schedule, and six goes four times into 90 minutes, so it has four cycles plus one nap. So five equivalent monophasic cycles, and therefore it's E1, or everyman one. Okay, this is a sleep schedule with two sleep phases, so it's a biphasic schedule. This one has two cores of two cycles each, and because they are both at night, it's segmented. So we can immediately see that there are no naps here and three cores, so it's a triphasic schedule. However, because this one core has two cycles, it's actually an extended schedule, and the name would therefore be triphasic extended. Okay, this schedule has no cores, so it's a nap-only schedule. If we count the naps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can see that it's Uberman. But because the naps are mostly centered at night, it's a fundamental change schedule and we'll therefore call it Uberman modified. Let's see, this schedule has one core with two cycles and three naps, so five equivalent monophasic cycles, and it's therefore Everyman 3. But as you, can pro but as you probably remembered, we talked about having the naps and cores change place, and this schedule clearly has its core during the day, so it's a flipped schedule, or E3 flipped. Okay, we see that we have two cores here, so it's a dual core schedule. Uh, both cores have one cycle and we also have three naps, so it's a dual core 3. This schedule is also fundamentally changed, since the cores aren't next to each other and we'll tag on the modified tail to it, resulting in it being dual core 3 modified. I'll take the time to go over the program that I've used to show these schedules in. It's called napchart.com and one of the members of our community created it. I highly recommend you check it out and maybe play around with it a bit. There's also a list of schedules here that you can cycle through and the schedule itself can be displayed in a different way by clicking these buttons. You can find more information about naming schedules on the scheduling part of polyphasic.net, where you can read more in depth about the schedules themselves, as well as the naming system. I'll link both in the description. Take care! Hey, thanks for making it this far. I want to take this time to shout out our coffee page. Donations go a long way with improving the knowledge of the community and helps us continue the upkeep of polyphasic.net. We plan on funding experiments and sleep trackers for members of the community in the future, and that in turn helps us make sure the scientific endeavors of polyphasic sleep are kept up. And if you like our content, we would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, if you'd like to chat with us, you can join our Discord. This is where most polyphasic sleep related discussions take place. The links will be in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you later.